Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome back. Welcome if y'all are new here to the channel. It is your girl Jazzy J on the mic, and this is Earth Vibes Tarot. This is a Capricorn only channel, but you are all very welcome here to the messages. All that I ask is that y'all sit back, relax, take a chance, smash your like buttons, leave a comment down below if you would like to do so. Just don't forget to make sure that y'all are subscribed here to the channel for more content and for more of me. And if you guys would like to participate in the monthly personal reading giveaway, make sure you guys check the description box below low for the rules we are going to dive right into this general message here for capricorn we are still in january 2024 but we are now in aquarius season so let's go ahead and see what messages want to come through capricorn you got number 30 this is the lily this is about mature energy this is um representing the king of spades king of swords we have number four this is the house this is talking about stability security house home um connection closeness this is the king of hearts king of cups energy and then we have the energy of the thief number 24 give us one more here please spirit give us one more here we've got three so we have the sun number 31 it's like the ace of pentacles energy we have number three the ship it's like the ten of um ten of swords energy and then we have the man number 28 ace of cups energy wow capricorn there is a very mature wise straightforward individual that's that's making their way towards you even with this this sun energy this is representing masculine energy this is representing somebody who is very sure and clear of what they want here they're coming forward um intellectually um you know emotions aside but they have this they've been going through this thought process here with the sun and the man number 28 and number 31 31 is breaking down to a 4 28 is breaking down to a 10 which breaks down to a one i do feel like there is an ending and then a new beginning i feel like there is a very divinely guided situation coming in with this person i feel like this person is wanting to bring forth a sense of stability a sense of clarity here um you know that sense of house that sense of home um this is also about harmony and connection in this person wanting to come and create that uh this sense of abundance in harmony in in connection you know what I mean like this person feels as if you and them could come together and create something miraculous with the lilies here number 30 I do feel like this person could be a little bit older than you not necessarily we have the energy of uh, 30 and then the number three we have 31 28 and four so this person could be uh 30 33 34 31 uh 28 24 any of those ages could actually um be resonating for you guys i was like what happened to our little background music that we had going on here okay um Capricorn, I do feel like this person may be coming in from a distance. I feel like there's there's this clarity in mind, clarity in in the soul. Um, how can I describe this? It's it's this person quite literally understands the integration of mind, body, and soul, and I feel like this is a a manifestation that's coming coming true here I feel like this is a gift a, a gift that you've been waiting for I feel like this is something that has taken time to reach you here at Capricorn and a lot of this is dealing with a sense of stability in house in home in your life um again very strong masculine energy or masculine qualities involved with this doesn't necessarily mean it is a male but there is this masculine actionary taking charge uh stable very strong willed and strong held type of energy um more intellectually forward here i i do feel like this person has 
has a lot on their mind. They have a lot to to process and to think about here. I do feel like there is this sense of progression. Things have taken time because you have three and you have four. You have 28, 30, and 31 here. So I feel like there has been this sense of progression with this energy. Somebody could even be 43, 42. Um, just really take these energies as they resonate for you, Capricorn. This energy of the thief is quite interesting. Because it's it's like this, there's a sense of time. If you look at what is actually being stolen here, there's this this watch, this um, pocket watch. And then on the other side, we see this female almost causing a distraction. Um, what in the world is going on with this? <laughs> there's a sense of stealing time time being taken maybe somebody feels as if they wasted their time before and it, they now feel like they want to spend the rest of their life here it's almost like suspended in time as well like time just kind of stops when you guys meet each other or see each other we have number five at the bottom of the deck 16 um, which is the star and then great fortune with the letter i do feel like this is an evolution of evo yeah, evolution, elevation of not only yourself, but your entire, like, your entire um, bloodline, your entire uh, gene pool, Capricorn, so to speak. Give us one more here with the energy of the thief. Mm-hmm. We have the mature man, yeah, and then the clock is at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like time stops. We have the clock, the message of concern, and poverty. Or maybe somebody feels like time is running out. We're going to clarify this here because this is quite interesting. There's this maturity. There's this... Because we even see it that the lilies is a representation of mature energy. And then we have the mature male. You have the male energy. There's this masculine quality, somebody that is looking for straight up stability, straight up tradition, it feels like. Somebody is like wanting to, to have and to hold, to, to be together. This is somebody who doesn't want any anything that's wavering. It's like this person doesn't want to waste time. Let's get into this here for Capricorn. Angel spirits and guides, thank you so much for this beautiful energy bringing us together for this wonderful, very mysterious message here. Show us what we need to see here for Capricorn as it relates to this love interest, as it relates to this mature man, mature male. Look at this. Mystery. Unknown, enigma, illusion, confusing. Bottom of the deck is divine timing, relationship, reconciliation. Maybe somebody comes back around. Something that was the wrong time before. There's a relationship here with a mature person, an older person here, somebody that may have some significant age on you. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that they do, but I do feel like this person is a, is is more mature, right? Is is a very traditional, steadfast person. I do feel like they are going to they bring what you're looking for. Capricorn let me just say that they bring what you're looking for because every, what everybody is looking for is going to be different but this person is very traditional in nature um, you know stability sh you know just this structure they don't want to waste time on anything it's like they know what they want and yeah like they want to get it look magnetic connection alluring lust irresistible flirting bottom of the deck is reconciliation grass is greener liquid courage this is somebody that is coming forward where the two of you are just very attracted to one another. 
there's this loving, undeniable connection here, this mystery energy. I feel like this is somebody that you don't know, somebody that's in the shadows, somebody whose energy you can feel, but you don't necessarily see. For some of you, this is somebody that you have broken up with. For others of you, this is a brand new person. Look at this. You see the soulmate card there? Just understand Take the messages as they resonate for you, all right, as they come through. This is definitely going to cause you to take a chance, to take a leap of faith on love, in life, with this person. Let's get into the tarot here with this message. All right, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Angel spirits and guys, thank you so much for this beautiful message. This is such a beautiful reading here. We're taking a look at this energy of this mature man. <sighs> this energy that Capricorn is connecting to, this mysterious mature energy that Capricorn is gonna find a very magnetic connection. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, there is a very beautiful luxurious they want to, they're wanting me to say like these big luxury type words like this is like a life of luxury this is a life of status this is a life that you've been looking and wanting to live i feel like this is something that you have have truly been wanting within yourself maybe not knowing how to get it or go after it this is something that feels like a great blessing here again this is like a life of luxury that you're going to be receiving here all right, this person is wanting forever. <sighs> Capricorn, this energy of the hangman. Are you ready? You're going to have to look at things from a different perspective when it comes to this energy because a lot of you aren't going to be prepared when this comes in and how this comes in. And, and what I mean by that is when you aren't used to living and, and breathing and being in a particular lifestyle in a particular type of relationship with a particular type of person it could sometimes be a jarring when you go to step into that role but this is about allowing yourself to look at things from a different perspective the type of person that you're going to be with is going to be completely different than whom you've been with before so the opportunity is going to be quite different and the way you you go about is going to be completely an expression of yourself Capricorn but it's like You've never had to had to do this before. You've never had to, you know what I mean? And it, it feels, oh my goodness. It feels very, um, it feels very, um, it, it's like a jarring, like the door opens, somebody's opening the door for you or vice versa. Again, a life of luxury, a life of status. We have the energy of the moon and we have the six of cups. Wow. So we have Piscean energy. We have Scorpionic energy. <sighs> lots of water, lots of emotion. For some of you, this could definitely be somebody that is from your past. There's a, a chance of reconciliation here. For others of you, it's a situation where it's showing you why you weren't ready before. Does that make sense? In the past. The situation that comes into your life, you are going to have to take a chance on this. But I feel like this is something that you may have, have tried to do before, but you weren't ready. But you're ready now. There were things in your life that you needed to confront. There were things in your life that you needed to, to process and work through. And this is coming from the sense of needing that perspective. 
change. You're ready for this now, Capricorn. There's an opportunity that is going to push you and this person, this energy into a new direction, Capricorn. Let me just tell you this. You have two major arcana and then an ace out of the five cards that are here. So this is going to be a huge introspective change as it relates to the relationship. This person is going to make you look at life differently and vice versa, right? So the two of you coming together are going to create this, this sense of opportunity, this sense of change. But the person that is here, I'm telling you, they are... They are such a magnificent light in your life. Something that you've been waiting for, asking for, and needing. Tell us more about this opportunity, Page of Wands. You've got justice here. Libra and energy. This is an opportunity that brings balance. This is an opportunity that brings a sense of reward. Yeah, bottom of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. In strength. This is something that is quite literally a reflection of you, who you are, what you have to offer, what you have to give. Um, I feel like this is, you're going to be receiving a lot of accomplishments here in your life, going through a lot of different things. With the King of Swords, again, I feel like there is a mature, honest individual that comes forward. They're very clear with what they want with whom they want and what, with what they have to offer. This is moving you through a new phase in your life and it's it's through a portal. There's going to be a conversation that ends up changing everything here at Capricorn. So we have the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Two of Pentacles. We have the chariot. Wow. And we have the lovers. So Capricorn, this person intends on offering you some sort of a choice here with the page of pentacles and the two of pentacles. There's going to be a choice that comes in here. It's either a yes or a no. Whether, whether you say yes or no is honestly going to be up to you. The page of pentacles is uh, earthly energy. So we have that Capricorn Virgo Taurian energy, but two of pentacles is your energy Capricorn. Really understanding that this is for you and this is about you and are you ready to make this decision because you have been put in this particular position for this opportunity because of what you have been going through there's going to be a person that comes in that really blows your mind and again for a lot of us it's going to be about allowing ourselves to look at the perspective change in our life and how we have grown how we have been able to find clarity in our life about certain situations and why things didn't work before and how they can work now the challenge is going to be you accepting this energy. The lovers with the chariot, come on now. You can see the signs and synchronicities that are pushing you forward. Your intuition is, is trying to guide you. Are you ready for this particular love connection? Are you ready for this particular relationship, this type of person that you have actually been manifesting? This is something that's going to blow your mind in, in multiple ways, but you have to be asking yourself, you know, am I actually ready for this or am I just bullshitting myself because I'm sorry, my stomach, I'm hungry because I'm trying to believe that I want something when I know I'm not ready for it. You have to be willing to say yes to yourself in order to accept this. This is something that's going to bring a major gist in your life that's going to change everything. And you have to be willing to say yes to it. Seriously. And it's, it's in a manner of, are you listening? Are you hearing? Are you truly ready for this? We're going to clarify just a little bit here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter.
tell us about this opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Devil. We have the Ace of Wands. And we have the Six of Cups, Capricorn. Don't let the past keep you from seeing your future. Don't let your past keep you from seeing your future. Be confident in your actions. Be confident in who you are. Be confident in how you've grown. You're getting ready to experience the ultimate joy, the ultimate happiness and peace here in your life. <laughs> what is the advice here for Capricorn? Three of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune and the Magician. While some of you literally have to say no to somebody else and say no to your old life in order to walk through this new door that you've manifested. Bottom of the deck is the ten of, ten of Coins again. So I'm just letting you know you're literally getting ready to get everything. But you have this Three of Swords has to go. Like it has to be acknowledged. And a part of that is internal, right? And it's our perspective around things. Capricorn. I'm going to leave this here. I do love you guys so much and I appreciate you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as I'm getting back into the groove of the readings and getting back into the energy, I'll probably start doing some more extendeds because I would like to extend this, but I need to go eat. So I love you guys. I appreciate you and I'll speak to you in the next one.